The beat of the drum resounds, hitting the core of our being, almost spiritual. Roy and PJ have created a group, San Jose Taiko, that beats as one with passion, skill, and pure joy. The thing that comes first in my mind is the creation of the multicultural arts genre in this area. Even the term multicultural was, uh, was not really something that was widely referred to in the early 70s. And I think uh, Roy and PJ and San Jose Taiko, that generation, had a lot to do with establishing it. What their contribution was was really in making multicultural arts, whichever genre it was or whichever type of art form it was, more approachable and accessible to the general public. So making it not tied to any specific ethnic or cultural demographic, but really welcoming the public into it, making educational outreach a really strong component of San Jose Taiko's history. They really have helped form and shape the Multicultural Arts Leadership Initiative here in San Jose. Roy was one of the founders of MOLLE, which has really developed for over 10 years a cohort of multicultural leaders in San Jose. And for that, we are so incredibly grateful and have really helped shape what arts community means in San Jose. PJ and Roy's sense of collaboration combined with their softness and boldness, authenticity and sincerity, and despite the loudness of the drum, their gentle giants who live a servant leadership model for all of us to emulate. For the last four decades, they have used the San Jose moniker in their name, both here on the road through America and internationally. Um, and very few companies can say that nowadays because a lot of them have dropped the San Jose name for Silicon Valley. I've got to say that they've, you know, through their history, they have had fortitude, they've had creativity, and they've done it all with grace. So, that is what makes them truly special to San Jose, and that's why San Jose needs to be proud of them. What Roy and PJ have uniquely contributed to the San Jose arts community is their leadership. Uh, everyone, of course, looks to Roy and PJ as the wise souls of the arts community and really of the broader community. Uh, I know I've consulted them myself on occasion. We became kind of by default uh, ambassadors of San Jose when we started to tour the country. And, um, and we took that to heart because we wanted San Jose to have a presence. We wanted our community of Japantown to have a presence as well. And to also just inform and inspire people to what our art form Taiko is all about. I guess the part of leading um, by example was getting out there and doing it. And so I feel that as, a, as that kind of a leader is not really sitting back and just telling people what to do, but you really have to go out and be doing it yourself. Thank you, Roy and PJ, for all that you've done. Thank you, PJ and Roy. You've been an inspiration to me. You've been a great friend and a huge contributor to our community. Thank, Thank you, Roy and PJ. Thank you, Roy and PJ. PJ and Roy, congratulations on your well-deserved award as a cornerstone of the arts.